Welcome to our video on effective ways to collect feedback from students. Gathering feedback from students is crucial for improving our teaching methods and creating a positive learning environment. In this video, we will explore various methods with real-life examples that will help you collect valuable feedback from your students. So, let's dive in. One effective method is using exit tickets. These are quick questionnaires or prompts given to students at the end of each class session. Let's take a look at an example. By asking a question like this, you can gain immediate insights into what students found most valuable, helping you assess their learning and make adjustments if necessary. Another method is creating an online suggestion box where students can anonymously provide feedback or suggestions. This ensures that students feel comfortable expressing their thoughts without any fear of judgment. Here is an example. Students can easily fill out the form and share their ideas, concerns, or suggestions. This approach promotes open communication and allows you to address specific student needs. Peer feedback is an excellent way to encourage students to learn from and support each other. Let's see how it works. Students can review each other's work based on specific criteria, providing constructive criticism and suggestions for improvement. This not only helps students refine their skills but also fosters a collaborative learning environment. Classroom discussions offer a platform for students to voice their opinions, share insights, and provide feedback on the course content or teaching methods. Let's watch an example. By posing thought-provoking questions and encouraging active participation, you create an environment that stimulates critical thinking and allows students to provide valuable feedback. Learning reflections provide students with an opportunity to express their thoughts, challenges, and suggestions for improvement. Take a look at this example. By incorporating regular reflection exercises, such as journal entries or blog posts, students can reflect on their progress, identify areas for growth, and offer feedback on the learning process. These were just a few examples of effective ways to collect feedback from students. Remember, the key is to create a supportive and inclusive environment where students feel valued and encouraged to provide honest feedback. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights into collecting feedback from your students. Remember to adapt these methods to suit your specific teaching context and the preferences of your students. So, go ahead and try out these methods to enhance your teaching and create an even better learning experience for your students.